Good morning and welcome back to Cask 529. Today, uh, Sean is going to do a show and we're going to have some mimosas. Um, I think four, four different kinds, four. is that right? Yes, four different kinds. So this is going to be a fun one. Yep. Alright, we are going to start with a lemon mimosa. And for it, we're going to add four ounces of lemonade. Um, you're welcome to make um, fresh lemonade for this, or you can buy um, lemonade already pre-made, whatever is easiest. So you're going to put the four ounces. Um, we're using these taster glasses. Obviously, you'll probably want to use your champagne flutes and stuff. But So four ounces of lemonade. Then you're going to top that with bubbly. This is one of the simpler ones. This one's really easy, isn't it? Yes, this one's super easy, super quick. And then you are going to garnish that with a few strawberries. Just lay those down in there. Be careful, they'll probably bubble up a little bit on you. And that's your first one, your lemon mimosa. So you fix that one to sip on while you're fixing the other one. That's right. <laughs> Um, the next one, we're going to do a blueberry OJ um, mimosa. And for that, I'm going to use a blueberry simple syrup. And you can hear Rex in the background. I'm sure you guys always wonder what that clitter is. Rex walks through every time you film. <laughs> um, so half ounce of blueberry simple syrup. And I'll put the instructions and the directions um, on how to do that. Um, but it's, you just boil a um, or bring to a simmer a cup of water and a cup of sugar and put uh, about a cup of fresh blueberries in it. Bring it to a simmer, um, turn down the heat, I'll let it simmer for 10 minutes, make sure you cover and um, then let it cool. So we also use the blueberry um, simple syrup and the um, blueberry bourbon iced teas that we made. So if you didn't see that one, make sure that you watch that video as well. So you have your half ounce of blueberry simple syrup, and then you are going to add four ounces of your OJ. OJ. So it gives a pretty little color there. Just going to top that with bubbly. It's nice having Shauna do the show this morning. And garnish it with some blueberries. Well, that one looks fun. Yeah, so that's your blueberry OJ mimosa. Okay, next up. I'm looking forward to the last one. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm really anxious to get to that one. Um, the next one is a raspberry lemon mimosa. Um, and so what we do with that one is going to be four ounces of the Simply Lemonade, the raspberry um, lemonade. They also make a strawberry lemonade. Um, so if you want a strawberry one, uh, just get it and you can um, use it. But this is, again, another really simple one that you can make really quickly. So you're just putting in four ounces of your raspberry lemonade. Rex really wants to be part of the show this morning. Well, we have a guest in our audience today, too, anxiously waiting to taste these. And so he's, he's very active because he likes to be pet and stuff. Get my glass off there. And we're going to just top that one with bubbly. And garnish with some fresh raspberries. These all look good. And there is your raspberry lemon mimosa. The next one, we are doing a tequila sunrise mimosa. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Um, so I'm a huge tequila fan. Um, Heather, who's sitting in our audience, is a huge tequila fan. We may or may not have finished off a bottle of 1800 one night. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're, we're really, um, 
anxious to try this one. Neither of us has had this one, but we know that we're going to love it. Um, so this is just one ounce of tequila. I'm just using some gold Patron. Gonna put your one ounce right in there. And I know we've got Patron fans out there. Yeah. And so this is another use of it. This one calls for three ounces of bubbly. So I'm just gonna measure that out. Hopefully it doesn't bubble over on me. It's like a science project. What's going to and happen? it bubbles on me. Add a little bit more. And then we're going to top that with OJ. And a splash. A grenadine. Just a couple more. Just for fun. And then garnish with cherry. And that is our tequila sunrise mimosa. So we're going to get off here because I know that we're all anxiously waiting to try these. And I got to make up a few more. Um, but anyways, please subscribe. Um, Brian will put the all the directions for these um, up on the video, and they'll be down in the comments area. Um, and I think that's it. For now, we're just going to get off here and enjoy these mimosas. Have Thanks for tuning in, guys, and have a great Sunday.